Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus. And check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4. As well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? Bangle again here coming back at you with another video today. Back on Madden NFL 19 franchise, we are rebuilding the Cleveland Browns. And honestly, most of the work has been done for me by... Of course, John Dorsey, current general manager of the Browns. We're not going to talk about the coaching because Hugh Jackson is an absolute disgrace, finally fired, and then he had the audacity and the gall to say, yeah, Baker Mayfield, it's on him. He just wasn't the number one pick we thought he would be. Are you kidding me? Baker's been incredible. Fun fact, I believe it was the, not last game, but the two previous games, Baker Mayfield is the only rookie quarterback in NFL history to have two games or back-to-back uh, -back games of 140 plus QBR, which is insane. But I know it, it's only two games. It's not like that. So he's, you know, he's a great player because of that. But he is a great player. He's played very well. The Browns are in great hands uh, from a management standpoint and from a Baker Mayfield standpoint. And there are a lot of great pieces around him. Miles Garrett, one of the best edge rushers in the NFL. Joe Batonio, Kevin Zeitler. Probably the best guard tandem in football. We got to work on the tackles a little bit. And they have so many great players. Denzel Ward, Demarius Randall finally playing free safety, and he's been incredible. Wow, who could have seen that coming? When Demarius Randall was coming into the draft, he was my number one graded free safety. He was a first-round safety. And then the Packers were like, yeah, we'll take him in the first round. And then uh, they're like, yeah, he plays cornerback now. I don't know. And it's like, what are you doing? It's like every single safety on their team, they're like, yeah, we're just going to play him at cornerback. Quentin Rollins should have played safety, probably. Micah Hyde is a big one where he was a decent nickel cornerback turned stud safety. Demarius Randall now is a perfect example of it. It's like, what are you doing where you're playing these clear safeties at cornerback? I don't know. We're, we're not talking about the Packers and, and their uh, miscues or, well, we'll see. Um, time for, uh, time for this Browns realistic rebuild. Should be a lot of fun. For the draft class, of course, for the realistic ones, we do use real prospects, and I've been working on my class quite a bit, and it would not be complete. It's still not. It's, it's closer, but Hypercars on PlayStation, his name is James Vaughn, JT underscore Vaughn on Twitter. Big shout out to him. I've been in communication with him, and he's edited my class, uh, with equipment changes, and just overall appearance changes, equipment edits to make it a better match real life prospects, which was awesome because I didn't have time or I don't to uh, to not only add these players in and edit and change and make it match my perception of some of these players and then to go back and do the equipment and the appearances. So huge shout out. Thank you so much. So I will be downloading this class because it is mine with the changes. I will be editing it a little bit further I will have a video out on the channel when I actually do have the class completely done, which is, it's very close to being completely done. Again, there are too many players to add in general. Uh, there's just so many, but I think it's a pretty good class. I'll have a complete video on it uh, in the near future on the channel. So make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Like the video. If we had hit over a thousand likes, I'd be sick. I don't ask for likes usually, but a thousand's a really cool number. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the class real quick. So finally, this was the Operation Sports uh, draft class that I've edited quite a bit because they didn't have some of these players like Quinn and Williams, one of the best players in the draft. Draymond Jones was not in here. I don't believe Raekwon Davis was even in here. There are a number of players that were just not in this class at all or were just terrible. Like Jerry Tillery was a 60 overall, which just seems ridiculous to me. Uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. DK Metcalf's in here. I said I didn't think he was going to actually declare but he declared the other day so good for him and we talked about uh like Karan Higdon and things like that down here um he's pretty good but he doesn't he doesn't play enough so it was hard for me to rank him a little bit higher I think this is kind of a weak running back class overall but it is what it is I'll have another video on that let's talk about the Browns by the way if you guys do want to use that class very easy you can search my PSN Bengal designs very easy to spell it is right here uh, and it's also, the draft class is called Bengal 2019 Draft, I believe. Just search my name, it'll be easy enough. People have also been asking me about whether it's going to be an Xbox or not. 
I'm not I don't I don't have a way to add it onto Xbox. So right now no plans for that, unfortunately, for you Xbox guys. So this is the lineup. Of course, no injuries. And it's a decent one. There's a lot of potential here. Duke Johnson and Nuke uh, Nuke Chubb. That'd be kind of a sick nickname. Duke and Nuke. No, but uh, Nick Chubb. Maybe we should start that. A little Nuke Chubb in the comments. I mean, he's been pretty explosive since coming into the league and actually getting significant playing time since the Browns traded uh, Carlos Hyde down to the Jacksonville Jaguars, who was barely played now that Leonard Fournette's back. But Nick Chubb's going to start. Baker Mayfield's been exceptional. Will continue to improve, I'm sure. What's your development, Baker? Star. All right. Richard Higgins is not great. He's okay. I love Antonio Callaway. I really want to get him touches. And then Jarvis Landry. He's all right, I guess. Offensive line, Joel Batonio, Kevin Zeitler, J.C. Treader. Good interior. Chris Hubbard, Greg Robinson, Desmond Harrison. Not a great group. Desmond Harrison is just learning the position. It's He's just so athletic. It's the only reason he got drafted. Just an athletic freak at offensive tackle. Only reason he got drafted because he's still, again, learning the position. David Njoku continues to improve, finally. And then, I guess, like Darren Fells and Seth DeValve. They're there. And then on the defensive side of the ball, it is great. I love Demarius Randall. This Browns defense has played really well. Jannard Avery was playing like a beast before injury. Joe Schobert's a Pro Bowl linebacker. Jamie Collins has been great. Christian Kirk, he's a good player. But uh, with Jamie Collins, I don't know, man. I feel like he's better than a 76 overall. I really do. Jabril Peppers bothers me a little bit because he's still inconsistent. He also is still learning the position. He's face-scanned into the game now. I don't remember him being face-scanned. Uh, but Dezo Ward's been incredible. TJ Carey, Terrence Mitchell, EJ Gaines, I think is a good group of four. And then they have Phillip Gaines. I'm pretty sure no relation to EJ uh, over here. But I don't know. Terrence Mitchell, EJ Gaines, TJ Carey. They've, they've gone down a little bit in overall since the start of this thing because we did kick this off with the Browns rebuild. My first one when I was down at EA in, uh, what, June? Or, no, not June, uh, July, late July. But Miles Garrett, beast. I love Larry Ogunjobi, and they have uh, Carl Davis, Tavon Coney, or not Tavon Coley, Coney. It's a Notre Dame uh, linebacker. It's Trayvon Coley. He's decent, not great. And then Emmanuel Agba's got a ton of potential. Uh, it's a decent group here. Anthony Zettel, too. Uh, love to get him some playing time. I don't know where that's going to be. Honestly, I feel like playing him inside a defensive tackle. He might go up in overall, and he is good. He was good with the Lions. They didn't really want him for some reason. And now he's been decent with the Browns as well. Let's play him at defensive tackle. He's going to go to a 79 overall, which is starting for us, which is great. So that's the team. We're starting from week 13. Let's simulate to the offseason and kick this thing off with a bang. Killer draft, killer free agency, year two, Super Bowl. Let's get it. Oh, we didn't even talk about Brian Body Calhoun, but he is the top priority free agent according to overall. He is a 78 overall. Decent backup safety. Tyrod, I kind of forgot about. Carl Davis, EJ Gaines here. Greg Joseph. Rashard Higgins. I don't really have a large need. And we forgot about Brashad Perriman, who... Uh, I don't know, couldn't catch AIDS at a 1980s, no, I'm gonna, okay, forget I said that, um, <laughs> I'd like to bring back Green Body Ahun, he's good, he just is, shout out to Magic Johnson, I don't really want Tyrod, if I'm being honest, I just don't, Carl Davis is an interesting one, I would probably want to get better at the position. I don't think I have any interest in bringing him back. And then EJ Gaines. He is 27. He's not asking for a whole lot of money. I can probably bring him back. So he's back on a really cheap deal. Good value. And then Greg Joseph. We can do better. I will re-sign him in free agency if we can't find a better option. As the Rams defeat the Chargers. 17. Excuse me. 31-17. Uh, as that is in the top left. You can't see it. But trust me. It happened. Free agency. We got some cash. Not a ton, but a decent bit. Le'Veon Bell's here. But Grady Jarrett is here. I'm in. Daryl Williams is also here. This would be a big signing at right tackle. Daryl Williams rejected the offer. Come on, Daryl. We did get Grady Jarrett and Greg the Leg. So we were replacing Greg Joseph 
a di with a different Greg the leg. This one, Greg Zerdlein, a little bit better. Just a little bit. That reminds me. The stats. We didn't really lose any starters. So this mostly won't matter that much. Baker Mayfield, not a, not a tremendous season. It was all right for a rookie. Nick Chubb, unbelievable work. Unbelievable great stuff from Nick Chubb. Jarvis Landry was all right. David Njoku was great. Antonio Callaway had a pretty good season, considering Duke Johnson had a ton of receiving yards. Offensive line was awesome. Jamie Collins played pretty well. Played great, honestly. Great season. Emmanuel Agba was dominant. As was Miles Garrett with 14 and a half sacks. I showed that really quickly. And then interceptions, Denzel Ward at four. Demarius Randall with three. That is a really fun combo. Demarius Randall and Denzel Ward. That is a really good young safety to young corner combo. Even though Demarius Randall's like coming up on 27 or so, that's still decently young. He might be 27. Patty Mahomes wins MVP of the 12-3-1 Kansas City Chiefs. Any Browns? No. AFC Offensive Player of the Year is also Patrick Mahomes. No Browns. Defensive Player of the Year, Darius Leonard. He's having a pretty good season. Offensive Rookie of the Year is Baker Mayfield. Nick Chubb at three. Defensive Rookie of the Year, Darius Leonard, of course. And then Denzel Ward at 6. I also noticed we're picking middle of the first round. We finished 7, 8, and 1. I think we won out. Weak. I hate that. I wanted picks. Or a better pick. NFL draft time. Would like to capitalize here. Raiders, Niners, Jets, Bucks, Giants. Picking in the top 5. Number 1 overall pick is Nick Bosa. Followed up by Devin White. Wanted him, but clearly would not be in position. Ed Oliver goes to the Jets. Jonah Williams to the Bucks. He was another player I kind of wanted to get. Herbert to the Giants. Not bad. Let's simulate to our pick, though. Trey Adams to the Eagles. The tackle's flying off the board. I think I'm going receiver here. It's going to be DK Metcalf for me. Just recently declared, and now I'm declaring. I do declare. He is going to become a member of the Cleveland Browns. He's not Cajun. I mean, it's Ole Miss. I don't know why I'm doing like a Louisiana kind of Bayou voice. But he's a decent player. Um, 78 overall. Star development. I'll take it. I like it. Debo Samuel to the Eagles. Nelson Aguilar v2. Nah, I didn't say that. I think I'm going Chris Lindstrom here in hopes to maybe play him at tackle or move something around. Um, 77 overall. Superstar development on him. He's got good, great run block, pass block. And uh, yeah, I did make the class. So I, I, I guess I was aware that I made him that. Just because his ceiling's so high. Great potential. So I, I think I gave him Superstar. Which is just, I guess, a happy accident for the rebuild. I try to... If you guys see the, each video, you guys know that I try to vary the picks from time to time. That's why I'm not going to take Marquise Hollywood Brown, even though I know he's pretty sick. I'm going to pass on him. Which hurts. But we're going we're gonna to pass on him. We're going to go Tavon Coney here out of Notre Dame. 77 overall, normal development, pretty good. And I do forget a lot of these, but that's pretty good. 77, or se yeah, 77 overall, good speed, good block shed strength, low zone coverage, so I'm not sure how well he's going to fit. Also doesn't have great power or finesse moves, but he is a pretty good athlete, good tackler. We'll probably look to play him. Start, I mean. There goes Hollywood Brown, and he goes... To the Dallas Cowboys. Interesting. Let's go Nick Westbrook out of Indiana. He's a pretty solid player. 73 overall. Normal development. 88 speed. Okay route running. Good spectacular catch. Decent enough jumping. Not terrible. Jared Stidham to the Eagles. They get their Carson Wentz replacement. And I might go... Uh, I don't know. I might go with a tackle here. Bobby Evans out of Oklahoma. 70 overall, not good enough to come in and start, unfortunately. So we still have not solved the tackle issue, but, well, uh, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. There goes Julian Love. I should probably grade him a little bit higher, but uh, he is a 72 right now. There, the class isn't perfect, obviously. It, it, there are a lot of players, and I can't be an expert on every one of them, uh, clearly. I don't even know what I want to do here. With Bobby, uh, Bobby Okereke. As Stanford, Okereke is probably how that's pronounced. 68 overall, not great. I didn't get to editing all the players. He is one that I will be honest with you, I'm not familiar with. Haven't seen a ton of Stanford this year. I've seen them play a quarter, maybe, and I haven't 
done full scouting on any of their players. Um, only one I'm really super familiar with is JJ Arcega Whiteside, who might even be on the board. We could pair DK Metcalf with DeMarcus Lodge, the Ole Miss combo. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. He's a decent player. Probably won't declare. I doubt we're going to see three Ole Miss receivers in this class, but it is possible. He's a 71 overall. Another player that likely will not see much of the field. How many fifth round picks do we have, dude? I'm done with this. Dwayne Haskins to the Cowboys. Dak V2? No, he's not as good of a runner. There's not really much left. So we're just going to have the CPU take who they want to. I'm not going to take a, another fifth and then a sixth and maybe another sixth and a seventh. We're just done. Pretty good draft for us. No players in the 80s, but we got three high 77s. Uh, and maybe all of them will play. Chris Lindstrom, I want to work into the lineup. Obviously, I don't know if that mean, uh, means moving Joel Batonio over to tackle, who played that at Nevada, or if I want to maybe try Chris Lindstrom uh, or Lindstrom at tackle. I think we're going to go Joel Batonio. I know they tried him at tackle, at left tackle in the preseason, and I don't think he was tremendous, or at least in practice, but he's going to play left tackle for the sake of this. Chris Lindstrom is going to start at left guard. Got JC Treader, Kevin Zeitler, who's starting to regress. We got a pretty good group. I want Nick Chubb starting. I guess we'll start Tavon Coney over Christian Kirksey. I don't know. We got Jannard Avery. I want him at right outside linebacker. Jamie Collins has been moved to middle. We got Joe Schobert. Demarius Randall. Did you not go up? Did you regress? Certainly not. He got quick development somehow. I'm not sure why. But he got it, which is sick. And um, he's 27. Quick development now. I need him to get better. I need him to be in the 90s. Follow Denzel Ward. 22, superstar dev. Great man, decent enough zone. Did he get superstar? Did he have that? I don't know. Offense is coming along. We've got some good pieces in play. Damon Harrison, or it's not Damon Harrison. Desmond Harrison is going to start at right tackle. I'm as unsure about it as you might be. It's a decent group. We're just not quite there yet. Ooh, DK Metcalf, plus one speed to 90. I'm in. Mid-season, Mark, we are four and three. Unexceptional. Coming off a 14-12 unexceptional win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. But we are currently sitting atop the AFC North. Two other four-win teams and then the Bungles. Don't be confused by the name. I am not a Bengals fan if you're new around here. Uh, but Demarius Randall is an impending free agent. I like the Giants, unfortunately, which is somehow worse in 2018. Demarius Randall, J.C. Treader, Joe Schobert, Emmanuel Agba, even Anthony Zettel. These are players I want back. You can only get the top four right now, which I will do. Got the back. The top four, guys. Time to simulate to the playoffs. Well, time to upgrade first and then simulate to the playoffs. And I really think we have a decent shot to make it. We're sitting atop the AFC North. We got players that are going to keep developing over the course of the season. This is very doable. We just can't collapse. Don't collapse, please. We have a first round bye. Finishing 11 and 5. That's what I'm talking about. I sound like a robot. That is what I am talking about. I am very excited. Like, is Mark Zuckerberg doing a rebuild? No. Baker Mayfield, better season than last, although similar stats, just the interceptions are down. And we have DeAndre Francois. I guess we drafted him. Duke Johnson. Got the bulk of the carries for whatever reason. I don't know why. I have... Oh God. CP probably switched it. Nick Chubb, 12 TDs is great. Yards per carry on all of them was terrible. Najoku, 6th season. Nobody else really anything too notable besides Jarvis Landry. Eh, you know what? 86 yards and 1,000... Or excuse me, 86 receptions and 1,000 yards. I will sometimes misspeak. I caught it that time. Blocking. You know, not terrible. Not terrible. Could be worse. Joe Schobert, great season. 108 tackles, 7 tackles for loss, 5.5 sacks, and 2 picks. I like that. Tackles for loss, Miles Garrett had 18. Grady Jarrett, 14. Unreal. Miles Garrett also had 14 sacks. Agba with 11. My guy Larry with 8.5. Jannard Avery had 6. Interceptions. Joe Schobert led the group. Tied with Jabril Peppers. That is interesting. Force fumbles. Uh, nothing too spectacular. A blocked kick for Grady Jarrett. Miles Garrett had a safety. Show me a defensive touchdown. No. Didn't have any. 
But the yearly awards we have, Todd Gurley with the MVP, Jared Goff at number two. No Browns, AFC Office Player of the Year goes to Kareem Hunt. No Browns, Defense Player of the Year, Vince Williams, really, okay. Garrett at six, Schobert at seven. Offensive Rookie of the Year goes to Drew Locke in the New England Patriots. DK Metcalf at eight, Defensive Rookie of the Year, Tyrell Dodson. No Browns. This is the upgraded team. It looks really, really solid. 87 defense, 91, or excuse me, 87 offense, 91 defense. Really good group. DK Metcalf up to an 86 overall. Baker at an 88 with confidence. And then the defense. It's coming along nicely. Gennard Avery hasn't moved up very much. Jabril Peppers is flying up with that, uh, with that quick development. I thought it was maybe star. I don't know. Denzel Ward's up to a 94. Miles Garrett, 99. Grady Jarrett, 89. Larry Ogunjobi, 84. This is a really good up-and-coming team. I told you, I wouldn't have to do much for this. We just got Tavon Coney and DK Metcalf, and now, I mean, we're pretty much killing it. Chris Lindstrom was a good pick, too, obviously. But we have the divisional championship. I'm not going to jump into any of these games and play the moments. Just going to simulate. It's the Jags. But we hate Jags, so. Simulate to the conference championship. And we lose. That's why we hate them. We lost 28-23. As I see in the top left, um, you know, bleh. hate to see it. Zettel's a free agent. I forgot about that. The Jags won the Super Bowl. They beat the Rams 31-28. And um, I want Seth DeValve back. I do. Fun fact about Seth DeValve that's not super fun, but I had someone in my Twitch chat like a while ago. I don't know why I remember this, but he said he's, uh, he's neighbors with him or was or somebody was neighbors with him like... One, it's like who would, it's not like he said that about like Baker Mayfield. It's Seth the Valve. No one's making anything up about him. But regardless of that non story I just told, uh, you know, great use of your time, I'm sure. It is time for free agency. We don't have a lot of money. I don't know where it's going, but we don't have a lot of it. Yannick Ngakwe here, Dominic and Sue. Uh, I know I just re signed JC Treader, but Ryan, I wish I hadn't now that I see Ryan Kelly here. Would have probably pursued him a lot. Xavier and Howard's here. That's pretty tempting, actually. Especially if the Patriots are the only one offering on him. Xavier and Howard accepts easy. Didn't even give him all that much money. And he instantly becomes a starter on this team. We didn't necessarily need him. I think this gives me free range uh, to add TJ Carey to the trade block. Then we have just a good group of four. Okay, so I forgot to uh, load the draft class for 2020. Which I, is not mine, but I forgot to, so I'm not going to know anything about these players, which sucks. I don't know what any of these are. We're going we're gonna to load 2020 best. The word best really gets me. I'm convinced. All right, well, DK Metcalf is in here, which is... <laughs> it's okay, this is, not, this is not the best one, but um, we're stuck. Time for the draft. Uh, we don't even really need to capitalize that badly. Our team's pretty good at this point. We pick so late in the first round. I'm not sure what value is going to be there. It's just take the best tackle available and see what we can do, really. Jake Fromm is still here. I guarantee. And Tua and J.K. Dobbins. These are all top players in the class. I'm going Walker Little out of Stanford. Looks pretty sick. Looks pretty good. Solid. Sick. 80 overall normal development. You play right tackle now. Dude, Jake Fromm and Tua are still available. Also, someone commented on my Lions rebuild. Kelly Bryant, second round. Like, I would not have Kelly Bryant anywhere close to the second round. He, in my opinion, he's going to be lucky to get drafted in the top five rounds. We'll have to see. Ooh, I'm going I'm going C.D. Lamb. Ooh, only 73. He does have star development. I love C.D. Lamb. I know I'm a Texas Longhorns fan. I think C.D. Lamb is sick. I think he's a really good player. And star development does not hurt him. Might be playing a lot over Antonio Callaway. I don't know. Irv Smith Jr. is here. He's a really good player, so we're going to take him. Only a 75 overall. He should have probably better than 78 speed. Oh, uh, yeah. Could be worse. I think it's going to do it. Really good three rounds of picks there. Well, kind of. Who did we draft again? Oh, yeah. Walker Little, CD Lamb, Irv Smith. Decent rest of the draft, honestly. Good depth, good backups. So I like that. But, uh, yeah, CD Lamb's going to play a lot. I think over Antonio Callaway and Nick Westbrook, 
and Demarcus Lodge. We have a lot of receivers. We have a lot of receivers. I'm going to make sure Nick Chubb is starting. Because I think that's just going to be better for us. Antonio Callaway will be number four. Nick Westbrook moves down. CeeDee Lamb is going to be the slot receiver. I like that. Right tackle, obviously, Walker Little. That makes sense. Tavon Coney. Joe Schobert at middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker is Gennard Avery. I like that still. Cornerback is kind of whatever. That's probably the best group for sure. Free safety. Honestly, we should move Brian Body Calhoun back to cornerback, but he, he kind of plays slot corner. So we can just have him that in the, the specialist area. CD Lamb is also going to return kicks with Antonio Callaway. I'm honestly past Antonio Callaway. I love Antonio Callaway, but this is not the Antonio Callaway rebuild. This is not real life. I think he's going to be a beast. I want CD Lamb as punt returner. Slot receiver, CD Lamb. Yeah, slot corner is going to be Brian Body Calhoun. I think that's going to be the best. Practice squad, do we have anyone on there? I mean, why would it not let me see it? We definitely have a practice squad. Don't lie to me now. I almost never check it. I don't even see it. Do we not have a practice squad? <laughs> I thought it was in that area. I don't, I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. You know what? I probably can't check it because we're not actually in the season yet. Yeah, now that we're in the season, practice squad's available. Anyone interesting in here? Is that LaMichael Perrine? Or Piron? It is. I don't know why I said Perrine. Um, interesting group of players. All right, banking on CD Lamb being an absolute beast. Because then if we have DK Metcalf and CD Lamb, that is like, that's a, such a great combo. And Jarvis Landry would exist too. Let's go to the midseason mark. Check in, see how things are going. We're Super Bowl bound. Five and two. We got this playoff rematch against the Jaguars. Oh, we're going to crush it. Oh, yeah, C.D. Lamb. He's already going to be past Antonio Callaway. That development is just so huge. Miles Garrett is a top priority for us. Absolutely need to bring him back. This is going to probably be a lot of players in here. Ah, uh, you know what? Not a ton. This is doable. That's a super weird David Njoku face scan because he doesn't have the flat top. This looks so weird. And uh, you know what? I'm kind of out on Terrence Mitchell. All right, playoff time. This is a playoff team. No bones about it. Awkward. How do we not make the playoffs? We finished 8-8. Eight and eight. What do you mean? Clearly, there are bones about it, whatever that would mean. What's up with these? The Jags beat us again, of course. Got crushed by the... Fucking Titans, Cowboys, and then lost out after three wins to so the Ravens, Steelers, and Chargers. Those division games. Oh, man. How does that even work? The team is better than it's ever been. <laughs> You're kidding me. All right, let's see what happened. How did, how did we not make the playoffs? Baker was second in passing yards and second in touchdowns. Was it touchdowns? What does it show? Yeah, touchdowns. Six and touchdowns. What a great season. Rushing, Nick Chubb was good. Receiving, DK Metcalf had a pretty good season. David Njoku was insane. CeeDee Lamb, what a season. Jarvis Landry was great too. But only 60 catches, but for 865 and 7 TDs. Killing it. Sacks, offensive line was all right. Joe Schobert, again, great season for him. 121 tackles. But Emmanuel Ogba crush it. 15 tackles for loss, 13 for Miles Garrett, who also had 18 and a half sacks. Eight for Emmanuel Ogba. Interceptions, a bunch of guys with one. I say a bunch, it's probably like, what, five? Not a whole ton of forced fumbles, that's two. And then one defensive touchdown, that is from Xavier Howard. We had the second ranked offense and the third defense, and we went eight and eight and missed the playoffs. With the second best defense, or excuse me, the second best offense and the third best defense. And we missed the playoffs. We had a top three team overall. Le'Veon Bell, I don't even want to talk about it. He wins MVP. AFC Office Player of the Year, Mariota steals it from Baker. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Jack, Miles Garrett, number three. A lot of Miles in there. Jake Fromm with the Bills, really. Over Josh Allen. Strong arm, big hands, looks good in shorts, and they go with Jake Fromm.
questionable. Uh, but C.D. Lamb at number four. Just misses out on Rookie of the Year, which is surprising. I didn't think he'd even be in the conversation. But he had a great season. I don't know how we missed the playoffs, man. That's just so disappointing. But on the bright side, I guess if you guys are liking the video, you get another season out of it. I'm done with Terrence Mitchell. I need to get better. The Redskins win the Super Bowl, by the way. They beat the Steelers 30-24. to um, We have not a lot of cap room. This could be one huge signing if we play our cards right. McCaffrey, no. Marcus Williams would be sick, but no. I don't even know what our one huge signing would be. I don't really feel like we need anything. What would we even need? A cornerback? I, how are there no good corners? Sidney Jones and Gary and Kyle. Eli Apple's an 81. Give me a break. That should be inverted. Eli Apple should be an 18. I'm not going to try to sign anybody, but you guys imagine forgetting to load in the class again. By the way, if you don't know how to do this, it's left stick to edit the players, and then you can import or download a file from the share. Like my class is called Bengal 2019 Draft, but it's only for 2019. So I have this 2021 class in here that I downloaded. I don't remember it being great, but it should have guys like Amon Ross St. Brown and uh, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I think this is the one I used in the last video. Justin Fields in here. Do they have Amon Ross St. Brown? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Asante Samuel has a son? Yeah, he uh, commit he's at Florida State. He's a freshman. Wow. That's, that's crazy. That makes me feel really old. <laughs> That's odd. Patrick Sertain Jr. is in here too, but Patrick Sertain was like... He was a decent corner, but he was no Asante Samuel. I think that's going to be the case with Patrick Sertain Jr. where the son is a lot better than the father. It kind of seems to be the case with a lot of these players. Um, Clay Matthews is a great example. Clay Matthews, Matthews the third over uh, Jr. And then the, another Clay Matthews with his dad, the grandfather of this Clay Matthews. And um, he played in the NFL, too. I think he was a tackle, maybe. We kind of have our pick of the litter here. Let's go with Asante Samuel Jr. Why not? Welcome to the team. 81 overall superstar development. All right. He has 86 speed, though. 86 press, 82 tackle. This is a really weird player. But superstar dev is sick. So I guess I can't complain. But weird cornerback. Dude, I hate how these quarterbacks stay on the board forever for some reason. Adrian Jackson looks not bad. Welcome to the team. 82 overall superstar dev. How overpowered is this class, man? I almost I, I almost have to start him now. Over Tavon Coney. JT Daniels is not bald. <laughs> they chose a 48-year-old man for JT Daniels, who's currently a freshman. To be fair, he does kind of look like he might be balding. I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that for sure. Yo, seven banks here at Ohio State. Seventy-one super. Does everyone in this entire class of superstar development? How is he? A, he almost looks better than Asante Samuel Jr. And he's only a seventy-one. Get it? Seven seventy-one. Is it Savine? I don't. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm just done with this class. I'm about to freak out. It's just way too. That's a really overpowered class. All these superstar development players and ridiculously high overalls. It's just too much right now. Unless I happen to just get fantastic value for my picks, and, and you know, in which case I got super lucky. And I guess Jannard Avery's not going to start anymore. I like Jannard Avery, but I get the normal dev is just not going anywhere. And to be fair, Tavon Coney isn't really either. This is crunch time. Do we go Jannard Avery? 26, about 18K to get a point on him. Or Tavon Coney, 24. About, I think we probably got to go Tavon Coney. And Jannard Avery will just be an impact playmaker off the bench. But we, I guess we are playing Asante Samuel Jr. It's an interesting team. The good defense, good offense. It's time for C.D. Lamb to step up once again. He is returning kicks and punts. Stop with his other... Other utter nonsense. You know what animals utter nonsense? Cows. Sorry, I apologize. This is the squad for season three or four. I think it's season number four at this point. It's pretty good, man. 88 overall. Good defense, good offense, good special teams with Britton Colquitt and Greg Zerline. It's just time to perform. We had it. We played great last year and just didn't make the playoffs, which 
I mean, how great can you really play if you miss the playoffs? But we play great second offense, third defense. I don't know how we screwed it up. It's just like typical Browns. Mid-season mark, we are 7-1. and one. Yeah, screw this one up, Browns. I don't think it's possible. We're killing it. All right, we got the Lions. I, mean, I don't... No way we blow this, right? I feel like I'm foreshadowing almost by saying that. <laughs> let's upgrade and um, let's let's make the playoffs this time. How about that? That'd be a fun idea. All right, here we go. Playoff time. Tell me we didn't blow it. Thank you. Thank you. We lost to the Steelers. We finished 12 and 4. I see in the top left. My face cam covers it. But um, I just think that's the best spot for the face cam. Baker Mayfield, pretty good year. 4,000 yards, 31 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, 4,100. It was a great year. Nick Chubb was awesome as well. Three yards shy of 1,000, 14 touchdowns, 4 yards per carry. DK Metcalf and CD Lamb were great again, combined for over 1,600 yards and 11 touchdowns between the two of them. Jarvis Landry was pretty good, but again, he didn't have the, uh, the yards or the touchdowns compared to those two. CD Lamb has kind of been incredible on limited touches. He really has been. Oh, let's make him a. Uh... Resident threat up to an 83 overall and he's about to get another skill point as well just killing it that this is like probably the most fun wide receiver duo we, we've drafted in one of these rebuilds so that's awesome to see offensive line was fantastic defense miles garrett gets better and better i can't i can't not see 20 tackles for loss even though joe Schobert had a great season 20 tackles for loss grady jarrett was sick ogan joby Larry Ogunjobi and Emmanuel Agba were sick. And then Miles Garrett comes out with 16 sacks. 11.5 for Agba. 8.5 for Grady Jarrett. Interceptions. 4 for Demarius Randall. 2 for Denzel Ward. Forced fumbles. Not a whole lot. And then defensive touchdowns. At least one. It is one. Demarius Randall. 12th offense this time. And the... 11th defense. Yet this time we go 12-4. and four, Starting off 7-1. and one. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Ty Gurley wins MVP. AFC Offense Player of the Year is Kareem Hunt. Baker at two. Shake and bake. Defense Player of the Year, Miles Garrett. That's Shake and Bake right there. A nearly offensive and defensive player of the year. Joe Schobert at number four. Offensive Rookie of the Year, James Cook. A lot of Titans, Texans, Raiders in there. And a lot of Dolphins and Browns in here. And AFC East. Asante Samuel Jr., Adrian Jackson in there at, uh, what, three and six, respectively. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. So, CD Lamb up to an 83. DK Metcalf, though, with confidence, sitting at a 94. Chubb going up. Baker's at a 94 with confidence as well. This is a really solid team. 93 offense, 97 defense. We can't even upgrade Miles Garrett anymore. Defensive line looks sick. Asante Samuel Jr. is up to a 91. I guess, is his coverage been boosted a lot? Because he went up easy with Superstar Dev. He had 92 man, 80 zone at this point. We'll reorder, get him starting. But he still is, I think, the slot cornerback over Brian Body Calhoun. Team looks sick. How are we going to blow this? That's that's a fun question. We got the Chargers. That's out because the Chargers are OP. All right. They're close to us in overall. We got a home matchup, though. Let's hope the Chargers don't kill us. It's a really nice score here in a low-scoring game at first energy. It was 6-9 to nine now. 20 to 6 in favor of the Browns. We're not taking over. We're just letting Baker do his thing. 27 6 in favor of Cleveland. Chargers get a score. And uh, things look to be about over. 34 13. 41 13. And your final will be 41 20 as the Cleveland Browns defeat the LA Chargers, advancing to the conference championship in the AFC for. Uh, I don't know, the first time in a, in a while? Is that fair to say? The first time in like 40 years, probably? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if they would have ever gotten there in the 80s. Have the Browns ever been to a conference championship? I almost want to say no. Bills are up to an 85. Wow. Wow, wow amazing. So the Browns won the NFL Eastern Conference Championship which, as you guys know, isn't still around. And they did that for six straight years, from 1950 to 55. 
and they won NFL titles in 50, 54, and 55. Uh, it doesn't look like they ever have made it to a conference championship during the Super Bowl era. So this, yeah, the first one. Long story short, as the snow comes down here in Cleveland, another just battle of defenses. Such a low score here so far as the Bills go out to a lead, but we look like we were going to answer right back and then turn over the football. But it is 10-10, now entering the second half. Might jump in if things remain close, but we break away just a little bit. 17-10, now 20-10, and now 27-10. This thing looks to be about over. Let's play one drive. We're going to probably, well, we'll definitely jump into the Super Bowl. But uh, let's see what we can, we can do here. Lamb and Metcalf on that left side. Baker in the pocket. David Njoku, Antonio Callaway, Jarvis Landry on the field. Let's hit C.D. Lamb quickly. No way. Recovered by uh, Stefan Diggs' brother, Trayvon Diggs. I guess that counted as a fumble. Are you kidding me? That's the game, though. It doesn't matter. 27-10. The Cleveland Browns have won the AFC Conference Championship. Baker had an absolute day. Crazy numbers from him. And that fumble was not even a catch, so that's a ridiculous call. This will be the final team as we face the 11-5 Dallas Cowboys in the Super Bowl. DK Metcalf still staying at 85, or 94. CeeDee Lamb up to an 85. Defensively, though, like... Superstar development is above anything else. Look at Adrian Jackson we just drafted. Look at Asante Samuel Jr. who we just drafted. These guys are already up. They're already up to just ridiculously high overalls for their first seasons. But here we go. Could you imagine a Cowboys Brown Super Bowl? We're not even the highest overall. First time we've seen that in a, in a minute in one of these rebuilds. But I guess the Cowboys really rebuilt in a big way. And now, I guess, led by Dak Prescott, they're in the Super Bowl. Interesting. It's oh, a Hollywood Brown. He's up to a 99. It's that superstar dev, man, I tell you. It's OP. All right, we're going to take over to start the game. Would be good to get started on the right foot, probably with a score. I would like that. Also, I know nothing about the Browns playbook, so pretty much going to be uh, all ask Madden. All right, I didn't convert on third down because I'm terrible, but this is fourth down. Like Riverboat Ron. All right, let's make something happen. David Njoku, first down, I'll take it. Another third down, can you just get in the end zone, Baker? Do all your work on second down and such. That'd be fantastic. Wide open over the middle, David Njoku again. Very close to the first down marker. Are you kidding me? No, we're, gonna, we're stepping in here on fourth and inches. He didn't get it. Nick Chubb's got this. I'm going to guarantee it. I wanted to cut that outside. I'll take the three-yard gain to pick up the first, though. And off goes to Nick Chubb. A little bit of power. He picks up a good gain, though. Good chunk yardage. That's C.D. Lamb. That's a toe drag, and that's a touchdown. C.D. with the TD. I don't know how I've never heard that before. Watching, you know, so many Big 12 games per year, being a Texas Longhorn fan. C.D. Lamb is just so good, though. How have I never heard CD with the TD? Maybe they do say it, but I don't know. That's a pick! Joe Schobert! Beautiful work! Great stuff, Dak. You're awesome. Everyone loves you. You're amazing. Can't wait to see the Cowboys pay you 20 per year to be so much of a beast like you are. Look at some Cowboys fan comment. That's how you know it's a video game. Dak threw a pick. He'll never do that. Yeah, because he's too busy checking down for one yard. C.D. Lamb, go up and get it. Not quite. Oh, there it is. Wide open. It's C.D. Was waiting for that to develop. Thank God the protection was good. Otherwise, it never would have happened. Red zone alert. I like D.K. Metcalf here in the back of the end zone. If you can get over the safety. We're going to roll out. We have so many options. I'll take the check down to Jarvis Landry. He has good yards, uh, yards after the catch ability, so get inside the 10. 
Rolling out with Baker. End zone. Touchdown. Jarvis Landry. Shinobi Awuzie completely leaves Juice wide open. And the Karate Kid with like a fake crane kick. I don't know what that was. I was fooled. We're going DK Metcalf. Oh my god, he caught it! Wow, that was like nearly intercepted and then... Or that was off his hands and the, I don't even know what just happened. All I know is this combo. DK Metcalf, CD Lamb is electric. Getting the rookies involved. Alright, CD Lamb is not moving. We got that throw. End zone. Touchdown! It's David Njoku! And we have blown this thing wide open. 41 yards to the house. Ghost ride the whip. And, and the Cowboys have answered. But I guess we missed the extra point. What has happened? Wide open. It's Duke Johnson. He's a versatile playmaker. We haven't really talked about too much uh, in this video. But he is a pretty good player. He's like a Swiss Army knife almost. But DK Metcalf, you got me on the slant. Touchdown. Where are you, Leighton? And now all of the technical starters have touchdowns. Baker's distributing. David Njoku, DK Metcalf, Jarvis Landry, CD Lamb in reverse order. And it's 4th and 11. Playoffs, Super Bowl, Lombardi Trophy all on the line. Dak. Does what Dak does. User pick easy reads. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. So easy to read it, Dak. You're terrible. Let's get the Chubber not involved. I keep trying to get these nicknames going. I think I tweeted about it, calling him the Chubber not. I don't know how that hasn't got going yet, but I need you guys to spread the word. I know that wasn't a great example, as we're gonna. Ah, we're not gonna go for it. That's absolutely ridiculous that I would even consider that. Uh, I want to get going. Nuke Chubb and the Chubbernaut. Spread the word. Nuke Chubb, Chubbernaut. Those are his nicknames. I've decided it. That's what I do. I come up with nicknames. Elite nickname ability. That's my go-to. That's my really my one skill. Dak going for it again. And uh, that's great defense, kind of. Asante Samuel Jr. knocks the ball out. And... We can ice this thing. Nuke Chubb! That's good power, even if he couldn't stay on his feet. And that is the ball game. 32-24. The Cleveland Browns are Super Bowl champions. Shout out to Baker Mayfield. The electric receiver combo of DK Metcalf and C.D. Lamb. Also, Jarvis Landry stepped up, played well. David Njoku played well. The defense was solid, forcing a couple turnovers. Joe Schobert with a pick. Got a user pick somewhere in there. And Dak, who, and I know I'm going to eat my words on this one, likely will never play in a Super Bowl. He, somehow he's going to find himself in one. Uh, he, you know, he loses this one to the Browns. As the Browns have won their first ever Lombardi. First ever Super Bowl victory. End appearance for the Cleveland Browns. Can we please see the trophy? Hoist it up. Tired of talking over these beautiful highlights. Here we go, baby. Baker Mayfield is your Super Bowl MVP. I think I think that's what that's showing. I don't see a graphic, but I, I think that's what, what happened. And of course, who's going to be on the podium? Baker? Uh, Miles Garrett? Denzel Ward. Ooh, not even. It's DK Metcalf, Baker Mayfield, Joe Schobert, and Nick Chubb. It's a pretty decent group. I'll take it. No Miles Garrett seems weak, but maybe it's big playmakers in this particular game. Regardless, thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. I don't remember there being audio for that. Take it easy.